Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Brian Welch, and I'm going to be going over the brokerage resource quoting tool here that you have access to. Um, um, we'll just be going over all the different functionalities um, that are available with this tool, um, and so that you can uh, uh, properly learn how to use it and maybe learn something that you didn't know that it could do before. Um, so this is the this is the screen that you'll see when you first get logged into the tool. Um, we call this the dashboard screen. Um, to um, to run a quote uh, for all the different product lines, you would just simply click Run Quote, or you would uh, um, you can switch it from up here at the top part of the page. Um, from here, you can use the uh, My Account button or the Support button. The My Account button is simply just going to take you to the page where you can uh, change your password um, and edit your account information. Um, in the event that you want to change uh, th that type of personal information in regards to your account. Uh, the support button here is going to allow you, if you have a question or if you're having technical issues, you can simply just um, uh, click support and you can uh, send a note in to, to have some assistance in regards to your question. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started here. Um, we'll start with Medicare Supplement and work our way down. Um, so to run a Medicare Supplement quote, you'll simply just uh, click Run Quote. Um, we'll go ahead, uh, and you can, as you can see, there's a few things that you need to type in in order to uh, to get a quote. First thing is a zip code. Um, so we'll just go ahead and type in a, a regular zip code, and this will quote any zip code uh, throughout the United States. Once you type in a zip code, it'll give you the county or counties that that zip code is associated with, as well as the state and city. You can then uh, select your age your gender, your tobacco status, the plan you first want to see, and how you want to sort the plans. Um, the most popular way is by price, which is what we default to. But if you also want to see it by rating or company name uh, in alphabetical order, you can. Um, and then you can change the effective date. So if you would rather see a future effective date um, for a future rate, um, you certainly could do so. And then optionally, if you wanted to personalize the quote by typing in a name, um, you can. Um, so if you wanted to print this off or email to somebody, you can attach that, that client or future client's name to the, to the quote. We'll go ahead and press Get Quote here. It's going to price these out cheapest to most expensive um, because we sorted by price. As you can see, we're going to give you the price per month, the household discount, the policy fee, as well as the company name, uh, AMBES and S&P rating. If there's a parent company, the rating class, effective date, years in the market. This is just essentially just uh, information about the company themselves, as well as the rate type. And so we'll be able to give you um, if this is an attained age, a community rated, or an issue age policy. Um, so uh, it, that's the kind of the initial quote box there. Up above the quote box at the very top of the page is going to be the quick quote section. So rather than having to click back and forth, um, we can simply just select uh, a different plan, or if you want to switch from male to female, or female to male, or you want to change the age, you can without having to completely restart that process all over. Um, in addition to this quote box here, we have three different buttons. One is the plan details, um, and so we'll be able to give you uh, the services that come with this plan, um, what medi or the services that come with Medicare, uh, what Medicare would pay, what this PAN plays, and then what the, the client itself would pay. And because this is a Plan F, it's all zero. Um, and so um, they would be com completely covered. And this is more just for the client if they were looking at this with you, um, that you can give them a visual representation of the benefits that come with this plan. The next two buttons are going to be the PDF application as well as electronic application. Um, the electronic application button is simply just going to redirect you to the uh, eApp login screen for that company. Um, and so if you were to click that button, it would direct you to um, Equitable Life's uh, login uh, to submit the business online. Um, and then the PDF application is uh, pretty self-explanatory. It's just going to be the PDF app of that company. Um, if you were to print it off uh, and fill it out by hand or you wanted to send it to somebody. Um, we'll start over here on the, on the left-hand side. 
and kind of all the different things associated with this quoting tool. First thing is compare quotes and universal compare. Let's say you wanted to compare these two quotes side by side rather than in a rather than in the full list. You can simply click the companies you want to compare side by side. They turn green. You come up here to the compare quotes. You click that, it'll take you to a new screen where you can compare them side by side, of which can be exported to PDF, which then can be attached to an email or printed, or you can simply just print this screen here. Um, and so this just kind of gives you a new look um, to how to present the data. Um, and some some agents like to like to show it that way. Secondly, we also offer a universal compare. Um, and this has to do with the globe uh, icon here. So if you click this globe icon, it will turn it purple. Let's say you want to compare this side by side with a dental plan, or you want to compare this side by side with a hospital indemnity plan. You simply click this uh, globe button here, it turns it purple, and then you would switch to whatever product line you wanted to run. Click the globe on that icon, and both plans will show up here, and you can compare across products side by side. Um, and so that's a new feature we've added, and it just kind of allows you not to just compare a med sub to a med sub, but a med sub to a final expense, a final expense to an MA, and so forth. Um, below that is our export buttons. Um, you can choose to export uh, into a, a, a PDF. Um, so it'll just generate a PDF of what you're looking at here below. Um, you can choose to export it to Excel, which is just the raw data. Um, it just allows you, it just kind of puts this in a, in a data format if you rather just see the rates in an Excel document rather than kind of the colors and the bells and whistles that are associated with the tool itself. And then you can choose to print uh, just using the print button. The advantage of that print button is it's going to strip out all the color, um, and so you don't have to worry about using all the ink in your printer. It's just going to be a simple black and white. Um, below that, we have uh, uh, five different adjust your view sections. Um, we're going to we this is the expanded quote uh, look. If you'd rather go to a contracted view, um, you can uncheck that, and it's a much more simpler view where you can see just the price and the company rather than um, you know seeing all the the rest of the jargon um, if you'd rather make it more simple for your client or for your view if you're just curious about the the price and the and the company the second thing is the apply discounts button um, and so that's going to be associated with the household discount here so if you want to apply this seven percent to the rate you can simply just click apply discounts as you can see the rate changes and there'll be a star next to it the, the the ranking of the products will also change. So a product that might be two without the annual uh, apply discount, it would now go to two or one or three or to two based upon that discount being applied. Uh, the third thing here is the annual rate. So if you'd rather see the annual rate versus the monthly rate, um, you can choose to uh, to see it that way. Um, the fourth thing down here is the market analytics. And this is going to have three different sections to it. The first section here is going to be age increases. And so this will show you for attained age policies. If it's an issue age policy, this box will not exist. Um, this will just be blank here. But for attained age policies, it will show you each year the insurer gets older, what kind of increase they should expect in their premium. And so this is a good idea, a good indication of um, for your client of this is what you're paying today. Um, and this is what you're paying next year and the year after based upon the numbers we have right now. The second box here is the increase history. And so for every time that this company has filed new rates and they've gotten them approved, we'll show you the date of those change and the percentage, percentage of increase. Now, um, we track this data all the way back till since 2010. Some of these plans maybe were just introduced within the last year and therefore would not have an increased history, and that means that they'll be blank. Um, and so that's just a good indication of how they've handled their rates in the past. The last thing here is market data. This is just NAIC data associated with the company. Um, uh, we take this directly from the NAIC, and these are the numbers that the companies have themselves reported for the previous year. 
Um, so what you're looking at here is um, 2014 data, um, and that gets updated once a year every April. Um, the last thing we have here is select plans. And so if you want to see select plans, you can select that. If a select plan is available in that zip code um, for the companies, um, it will say select below the policy for your uh, button here um, to notify you that it is a select plan. One of the under interesting things that we do with the, uh, the courting tool is the underwriting. Um, and so we allow um, you to select a, a condition and see the look back periods that are taken directly off the applications themselves. Um, and so, like for example, let's say we're dealing with somebody with a heart attack and they're outside their open enrollment period. You simply click heart attack. It will now show you the look back period for that company um, or for each of the companies. So you can see here, circulatory system, heart attack, two years essentially meaning that if they're outside their uh, guaranteed en uh, enrollment period, um, they happen to have a heart attack within the last two years, they would therefore have to answer yes on the application and probably would not be issued that business uh, or issued that, that policy. Um, and so, like I said, we're taking this directly off the applications. We're, uh, we're not creating this or putting our own interpretation in. Um, this is just what the companies are, are providing in terms of the lookbacks. And you can set multiple um, different uh, conditions, um, and it'll allow you to, to see multiple different uh, uh, lookbacks. Um, the last thing here is we also have the filter quotes. So if you want to kind of uh, filter your results a little bit more and not have to scroll through the whole list, you can choose to only see companies with a household discount or choose to only see companies without a policy fee just allows you to, to kind of narrow down your results a little bit more as well if you wanted to hide if you wanted to print this off or you wanted to export it to Excel or anything like that and you wanted to do it in this view rather than the compare but let's say you didn't want to show Oxford life there's a button here where you can actually remove that company off the list and so they would not show in that output um, so we allow you to completely edit this list to what you would want to see um, and so, uh, in, in a nutshell, that's essentially what the uh, what the how the Medicare supplement tool works. Um, and and, and, and it's, we try to make it as easy as possible. Um, you know, after a, after a few quotes, you should be uh, a, a pro at running quotes. You have a few options to to leave this screen. One is you can click the new button here, which will just take you back to the uh, to the quote screen where you would type in your zip code and age and gender and things like that. You can choose to hover over this uh, the product name and switch back to the dashboard or to your account or to one of the other product lines. Or we allow this navigation button where you can choose to sign out or you can also switch to one of the other product lines. Um, and so we'll move on to uh, Medicare Advantage for our next one. Um, all the tools are going to run pretty much the same way. We're going to try to make sure that they... Uh, um, you know, if you can run one product, you can run another. Um, you can go ahead and type in a zip code here. We're not only going to provide you the Medicare Advantage plans, but also the Part D and the special needs, if you want to see it that way. Um, get quote. It's going to price these out cheapest to most expensive. However, um, that's pretty much based upon the max out of pocket, as most of these don't have uh, a price per month. The export features, like before, are still here, as well as the compare and universal compare features are, are available on this product, like the MedSup, and is all of our products. So um, we'll give you the max out of pocket, uh, price per month, type of plan that's associated with this uh, product, um, if it's an HMO or a PPO, if it has a drug deductible, etc. cetera. Um, your quick quote section is still going to be here, so if you'd rather see a Part D or type in a new zip code, um, you don't have to keep going back and forth to the same screen. Let's say you found a, a, a plan you like and you want to see the details of that plan. You simply click the Plan Details button. This will then allow you to see all the co-payments, co-insurances, drug tiers that are associated with this with this plan. Um, and so you, you'll be able to kind of provide more benefit information beyond just the max out-of-pocket uh, and the monthly cost. In addition to this, very similar to the universal comparison, 
You can also choose to fill in the gaps with a hospital indemnity plan. So you can choose to select their age, gender, and tobacco status, add the comparison. It will then bring up all the plans that are available within that zip code that you typed in. Um, so for argument's sake, we'll select Medico, add comparison. It will then put these side by side um, and allow you to have the ability to, uh, to have both of these in the same screen, add riders, select different benefit amounts, etc. Um, this works the same way that the Universal Compare does, um, but we just it's kind of a, a nice little feature to just have that button since writing an HI plan with a Medicare Advantage plan is, is pretty popular. Um, and so uh, that, that's that's the Medicare Advantage tool. Um, like you, you can like you can uh, see, we try to make it as as, as congr you know the same uh, process between the product lines. So if you can run run quote, you can run them all. Um, the third product here is final expense. This is going to be a little bit different in the sense that it's a diff it's not a Medicare product. Um, it's going to work the same way in the sense that zip code, age, gender, tobacco status. But you can also select um, the different type of benefit or product type that you want. And we also allow you to either select the face amount or you can type in a monthly rate. So let's say your client can afford $40 a month for a final expense of life plan. You press get quote, it will now price out all the plans that are for $40 and the face amounts that are associated with them. Um, and so obviously we give the price per month, which is $40, and then the face amount associated with that price. And we'll give it what plan it is, AMS and S&P ratings, um, parent companies, etc. Um, again, the, the, the compare screen uh, to compare these side by side, as well as the uh, universal compare is all still available. So if you wanted to compare this to a Medicare supplement plan, you could. Um, in addition to that, if you'd rather see uh, a $10,000 face amount rather than the $40 a month, you can. You can choose to run the quote, and you can see all the plans that have $10,000 of face amount and, and the associated uh, price. The export features are here just like before. You can print it or put it on the, the PDF. The expanded or contracted quotes is still available. You can also choose to apply the annual fee to the price. Um, so if the $50 annual fee, we, we include it into the monthly monthly rate. Um, and then you can choose to see the annual rate as well versus the monthly, uh, just like before. We also have the underwriting. works the same way as the Medicare supplement. Um, and so you just click on a condition, and it'll give you that look back period for for that company. Um, and lastly, we allow you to filter based upon guaranteed issue. So if you want to see only guaranteed issue plans, um, you can choose to filter your results by that as well, like all the rest of the product lines. If you want to remove one by one, um, you can choose to do so. Um, so to navigate from the screen, we do it like before. You can click the new. Um, you can uh, hover over the product uh, label here and switch it this way, or you can go to the navigation and switch. Um, so the last two products we have are hospital indemnity and dental. Um, and so um, they were going to work just like the other ones, and we kind of went over hospital indemnity a little bit. Um, just like before, zip code, age, gender, tobacco status allows you to run the quote. We're going to have you, your price per month, household discounts, policy fees. Um, we'll give you the base plan benefits here, and if there's any included benefits, uh, kind of a highlighted of included benefits here. AMS and S&P ratings, um, and then also the export, the compare um, buttons, the filtering is all still available, as well as the quick quote. Let's say you wanted to start selecting riders or changing the benefit amounts because these are just going to be the standard benefit amounts that are associated with this plan. You click the plan details. This will then take you to a new screen where you can choose to add benefits, um, change benefit amounts, increase the lump sums, etc. And it does all the math for you, so you don't have to do the addition in your head. Um, you'll see the final price uh, at the top of the page. Um, and so that's the hospital indemnity uh, tool, um, uh, a quick and easy way to kind of look at uh, how that's how that's done. Dental is going to work the same way. Um, it's going to allow you to uh, see the dental companies, see the included benefits, 
see the base plans, uh, plan details, uh, etc. The compare, the export features, uh, expanded and contracted quotes, filtering results, it's all going to be available. Um, the plan details as well. So if you wanted to increase the benefit amounts, you want to see more of the nitty-gritty of what this provides. Um, it, it will it will provide all the different benefits associated with this plan. If you wanted to add a vision or hearing rider onto these plans, you would do this on that screen. Um, and so um, we'll go back to the dashboard page here. Um, and like, like I said, this, this tool is, is for you to kind of help you on your day-to-day -day business um, and kind of help you uh, speed up the process of finding out the best rates um, for, for your clients. Um, you never have to worry about being it up to date or um, making sure that you're looking at proper rates. It, it updates automatically, um, so you don't have to worry uh, about the validity of the information. In addition, this is all mobile friendly. So if you're trying to work this tool uh, on a tablet or a mobile device, as long as you have an internet connection, you can get to this tool and it will conform to any of the screens. Um, so with that being said, if, uh, um, if anybody has any questions, um, please reach out to, to the brokerage resource and they'll be able to help you out. Um, and I, I hope you all have a great day and, and thank you for taking the time to kind of learn more about this tool. Thank you.